Hi everybody, this is Katie. Welcome to episode 8 of Enchanted Emerald Isle. Today I'm going to be working on the campsite area and we're also going to talk a little bit about how I got the museum to stay as a camp when we get to that area a little bit later. You'll see that the space I'm working in is pretty small here in this immediate area around the campsite, but it also includes a lot of background area here on the other side of the river. So it's much larger, or at least it appears larger than it really is, but the bulk of the decorations will be in this little space. If I pop into the tent really quick, you can maybe be reminded if you've been playing the game for a while of Blathers and the inside of his tent when he first shows up at your island. It's really cute to see him in this fashion again for those of us that have been playing the game for a long time. So in addition to this little area immediately by the museum and the campsite, I'm also going to walk us over here. There's the bridge that goes across to, this is going to be a landing foresty entrance space as we head up to the enchanted forest and so I want to make sure we put that together to a transition area and then here I'm walking through all of that forest space that is really part of the campsite but more of a backdrop more like the environment of the campsite so that you can see it from a distance. While I put the path down through the middle of the campsite, I want to talk a little bit more about this museum and how we keep the tent. In the very beginning of the game, you give a few bugs or fish to Tom Nook, and he will then call Blathers to come and set up a site, and you put the tent down. Wherever you put this tent with Blathers, it cannot be moved later. So if this is something that you intend to do, you can't just put it down wherever and think that you'll just change it when the layout happens. I had to think a lot about where the campsite was going to be before I put down Blathers tent for the very first time. After that, Blathers asks you to give him fish and bugs, and this is where you stop. He will still give you the resources early on so you can get across your river and the storyline will continue, but if you don't give him any more fish or bugs, then the museum can't upgrade, and so that is where you stop. So you give them to Tom Nook, but you don't give them to Blathers. You can still go in and talk to Blathers as long as you don't fulfill that part of the storyline. It's important to know that some people think if you do this that you won't be able to get terraforming and I can tell you with 100% surety that you can as I've done so on this island. Now that I have terraforming and have everything in place and was able to get up, by the way, all the way to a five star island by the time this was done, the tent was still a tent instead of a full roam museum. A lot of you have asked me why for this island I chose to reset the last island. And I'd like to remind everyone I have two switches. Everything is on my first switch and this is the second switch. And so I didn't lose anything because my DIYs and my cataloged items are all on the other island. And anything that was important, I just moved back to that island before I reset. So the decision for me is not as hard. But instead of flattening, I chose to restart this island for two very specific reasons. One, I wanted to call it Emerald because this is the enchanted Emerald Isle and it's supposed to be a unique type of environment. And two, because I wanted to keep the campsite small, it, it the museum as a tent. I just didn't feel like a full-blown museum was going to fit the aesthetic for an old country style island. Now, if you've already got a museum on your island and you're trying to make a decision, then I would always recommend that people flatten. And that's because you don't wanna give up all of the work that you've done with cataloging and getting DIYs. And some people love starting that over and that's part of the fun, go for it. But if you're trying to decide for decoration purposes, I would just find a way to disguise the museum. So don't restart just for this tent. But if you are restarting, for other personal reasons and you have a design that might include the aesthetic of an old-fashioned tent, then that is how you do it. You give everything to Tom Nook, 
and then you don't give fish and bugs to Blathers when he arrives. And don't forget, you've got to put that campsite down wherever you want it forever, because you won't be able to move it until it grows up into a full-fledged museum. It's still a fun trick, and I'm really glad that I did it on this island, even if it's not a trick that will be doable for most people. One of the other reasons that I decided I wanted to reset this particular island is because I learned about a new trick. If you have a dream address on your island and you switch over and reset to a new island, the dream address will stay put at least for a while. There's good evidence to show that the dream addresses will eventually be deleted by Nintendo, but for at least now, I was able to keep the Botanical Garden Getaway dream address and start a new island here where I have already been able to save and keep a, a new dream address for Enchanted Emerald Isle. And so that's something that I may consider more in the future. I will decide here as I do the next theme after this one, whether I want to reset or flatten based on those criteria. As I'm finishing up this campsite, you'll see that it's pretty straightforward. I've just been putting a few of the kids tents down to make it look like a campsite. Across the bridge here, I have that entrance area and I do want this to be a little bit of a transition spot so that we don't go straight from a town directly into Enchanted Forest. And so that's what this area is really intended to be is a transition. And it's pretty straightforward. You'll see very basic little things that I put down, but I do sneak in a little bit of a gnome and I sneak in a little bit of a mushroom log so that we can go from town forest with a little bit of whimsy. Let's take a look at how the campsite came together. As I walk in here you can see I have the tiki torches and the kids tents and you can see across the river to the trees on the other side. I put a mom's cushion down here on the ground and I have that funny bamboo noodle slide in the back and the shelf. I just wanted to make it look like it was a working campsite, like Blathers was always doing a little bit of searching and excavating. Across the bridge here, you can see how this little landing came together as we transition from the regular town up into the Enchanted Forest. I hope you guys found something useful here and that you continue creating in this game. Until next time, have the best Animal Crossing day.